Hi everyone, welcome to another video. Today's video is actually really exciting for me because I'm going to be talking about a new collection for fall that has gotten me really excited. I am talking about the Chanel Le Rouge collection. Chanel always has, for me, some of the best collections because they are very cohesive, they are very well marketed and very appealing. And this one was no exception. Now the reason why it is called the Le Rouge collection is because obviously it has a lot of red in it, like for instance this really red and bright blush, or this really interesting top coat, or this quad with this really beautiful red eyeshadow. And I am going to be showing you the products that I have gotten from this collection, and I'm also going to show you how I would apply them on a makeup look, which is what I'm wearing today. So this is kind of a tutorial with the products from this collection and I am trying to use on this tutorial the most products from Chanel that I have so I also used a Chanel foundation, a Chanel bronzer and whatever I had from Chanel that I could add in here. I think Chanel has great quality products, I'm a huge fan I, and this collection really spoke to my heart. So I hope you enjoy this video and I hope you enjoy the look. So I'm going to start with foundation today and I'm going to use the Perfection Lumière from Chanel. This is a long wear flawless fluid makeup. Uh, it has SPF 10 and I would recommend this for people with combination to oily skin. It isn't completely matte in the sense that it, it doesn't look flat on the skin, but it definitely, definitely is not a dewy glowy foundation. I haven't used it in a long time because it is a foundation that I would use more um, on winter time but it is definitely a beautiful foundation and it leaves your skin looking very very flawless because it has really nice coverage the reason why I'm using a more heavy coverage foundation today is because we're going to be using a lot of reds and I feel like when you use red, especially on your eyes, if you don't have a really perfected skin, if your skin looks a little bit red, um, everything on your skin is going to look worse in the sense that it is going to accentuate the redness and your imperfections and your under eye circles. So everything needs to be very perfected if you are going to go with those colors. For concealer, I actually don't own any Chanel concealer right now, so the one I'm going to use is one that I've been testing and it is from Too Faced, it is the new Born This Way concealer. They have launched their Born This Way foundation uh, recently, and even more recently they have launched this concealer and I have been testing it out. But before I apply it, I am going to apply a corrector. This is the Peach Corrector by MAC. I don't know the name anymore because it rubbed off, I think it was the Studio Conceal and Correct, if I'm not mistaken. So I'm going to use the peachy side of it and I am going to apply it on my under eye circles for the same reason that I was talking about using a full coverage um, foundation. I want my under eye circles to be very, very well hidden because if they're not and I use um, red on my eyes, my under eye circles are going to look worse and I'm going to, to look a little bit sick. So they need to be really well hidden today, especially. So on top of it, I am going to use the Born This Way concealer. This, um, I am not sure how much I love it yet because to be honest with you, I don't think it has enough coverage for me because I have really dark under eye bags. If you don't have a lot of under eye circles, if they're not that dark, or if you have a lot of problem with creasing, I think this would be a good concealer because it is actually very hydrating. So that is really good. It's done a good job. I can definitely still see my dark circles underneath, um, but it's not... It's not bad and it has a very natural finish, so that is really good if you are looking for a natural looking concealer and if you don't have really, really dark under eye bags, I think this would be a great concealer for you. For me, like I said, I still feel like I would need a little bit more coverage. So now for the actual Le Rouge collection, I'm going to start out applying the eyeshadows and I'm going to use the quad from the collection. This is called Kinder et Experience and it is a very neutral quad, except for the red right here. So I'm going to start by using a fluffy brush and with the lightest shade of the quad, I am going to apply it on my crease. 
these shades are really, really pigmented. I know that some people have complaints about um, other Chanel quads and about their pigmentation because it hasn't always been the best, but they have reformulated their quads recently, I think it was last year probably, and they are definitely a lot more pigmented. Another complaint that people usually have about Chanel quads are that they are too shimmery, which definitely is not the case with this one because it is completely matte. And these are very, very soft and very easy to apply. I only picked up a little bit and it is really pigmented. It has no fallout whatsoever, which I find rare for shadows that are this pigmented and this soft. So that is a real plus. So next I'm going to use this warmer brown, which is right here under the red. And I'm going to use a crease brush and I'm going to apply it directly underneath from where I applied the previous shadow. Just to intensify the crease a little bit. It's so pigmented, it's unbelievable. And I'm going to use the red, which I definitely think is the star of the palette, and I am going to apply it all over the lid. Super pigmented, it's so beautiful. I am not even wearing any primer on my lids. Wow, this is intense. Now that I have the red um, laid on the lid, I'm going to blend it with the brown on the crease. This looks so good and intense, and if you have green eyes, the color is going to pop so much. It's going to look really, really great. So now I'm going to use the darkest brown on the palette, this one right here, and I am going to apply it on the crease, more on the outer corner, just to make this look a little bit more smoky and dark. I'm going to leave the top lid like this and I'm going to apply some of this dark brown on my lower lash line. With the same brush, I'm just going to apply it right here underneath my lower lashes. Moving on to two of my favorite products from the entire collection, the eye pencils. And these are the Stilo Ye waterproof uh, pencils from Chanel. These are retractable pencils and I have had numerous of these ones um, throughout the years and I always love them. They are super creamy and pigmented and there are two shades on this collection and I got both because I think they are both really beautiful. The first one is Eros and I think this one is one that is going to appeal to more people because it is a very reddish kind of shade. Um, it is so beautiful. These pencils are really really creamy. I mean can you see how easy uh, they glide on. They are really, really nice and they do stay for a really long time. I find that on my waterline they don't last as long as, for instance, the Marc Jacobs ones, but they do last really long on the lid. The other one is in shade Agape and it is a more brown kind of shade. It is a bronzy brown, super, super beautiful, very rich, very pigmented, and I have been loving this one. So this brown one is the one I am going to use on today's look, and I'm going to apply it on the waterline. And then I'm also going to apply it on my top lash line. just to make the lash line a little bit darker and more intense. Still for the eyes, they have launched two of their uh, Illusion d'Ombre eyeshadows. I got the one in Rouge Brûlé, and we could use this on the eyes, of course, either as a base or as a topper, like for instance with this quad that is very matte, if you're using um, this shade, it is going to give it a lot more sparkle and it is going to give it more of a metallic finish. I really like this Illusion d'Ombre Eyeshadows, I think they are beautiful. They last really long on the lid. They always have the most beautiful finishes and colors and this one is no exception. It's such a beautiful copper shade. And as you can see, it's super metallic and super pigmented. I mean, this is what was one swipe. 
so so beautiful but I am not going to use it on the eyes today because I am enjoying this really uh, matte look but I am going to use it on a different way and I'm going to show you how at the end of the video so I'm going to move on to the cheeks and I'm going to bronze my skin with the Soleil Tan de Chanel you guys know how much I love this product I have talked about it on my ride or die makeup tag if you haven't seen it I will link it down below so I am just using a really dense face brush with this and just applying it underneath my cheekbones just to warm up my skin a little bit I need it <laughs> I really love this. I think it's um, very easy to apply and it ends up looking very natural, but it definitely warms up your skin very nicely. Next up, the blush from the collection. This is the Choux Contrast in the shade Rouge Profonde. And of course, it is a red shade. It is this beautiful, really deep kind of raspberry red. So I am going to use it with a very soft brush like this. This one is from Hakuhodo. I don't know what is the number of it, but as you can see, it is not dense at all because I don't want to be applying a lot of blush. And red blush can be scary at first, but it is an amazing blush if you want to look a little bit sun-kissed. Because if you think about it, when you're out in the, in the sun, even if you have a very easy to tan skin, you'll always get a little bit red on some areas. Those areas are the ones that the sun hits. Um, so we are going to apply this blush exactly on those areas. And it is super, super pigmented. Can you see how the, the brush is already super red? And I just tapped it. So I'm going to apply it, of course, on the tops of my cheekbones. So beautiful. I will also apply it on my temples because the sun would naturally hit that spot. And also, this is going to look a little bit odd, but trust me, it will work. I will apply a little bit on the bridge of the nose, just making this bridge right here. You don't want to apply it on the tip of the nose because you don't want to look like you have been drinking, but you want to look like you have been sunbathing. That is why we are going to apply it on the bridge. And that is it. And I don't know if you can see, but I already look a lot more sun-kissed than before. That is what red blushes are really, really good for, especially if you have really light skin. If you have darker skin, it is going to be an amazing, beautiful blush. And I really like this Jus Contrast formula. I have a lot of these on my Pro Kit. I use them a lot. I think you cannot go wrong with this because they are so smooth and they have a really beautiful finish on the skin as well. They work for um, normal skin, oily skin, dry skin, for mature skin. They are just really great blushes to have. I'm just going to finish the eyes. I am going to apply a little bit of mascara. I am of course going to use my Lush Sensational by Maybelline in the waterproof version that I always wear. On top of it, I am only going to use one coat of the Marc Jacobs mascara. This is the Velvet Mar one. It is really good for volumizing. Then for the lips, Chanel actually launched, I think it was six lipsticks with this collection. Five of them are red lipsticks and then one of them is a nude. But I think that this is called Le Rouge Collection for a reason and I think this look really begs for a more bold type of lip. So I decided to get a red lipstick and the one that I got was one of the Rouge Allure Velvet formulas that I love. I have a couple others of this formula and I really like them. And this one is number 58 Rouge V. And I love the packaging on this lipstick. You just press the button up here and your lipstick comes this way. So I really like the packaging, I love the formula and I really like this shade. It is a darker kind of more um, brownish kind of red and I, and I think it's really pretty. I don't know if it's going to show up very true to color on camera because I feel like on camera it doesn't look as brownish as it does on real life but it is a super beautiful lipstick and I think it goes really well with this makeup. So this is the look and we could leave it at that, but I am also going to use the Illusion d'Ombre Rouge Brûlée um, 
eyeshadow so what I'm gonna do with it is I'm actually going to put it on top of my lipstick and I'm going to make it metallic metallic lips are a huge trend and you could use this technique with a regular eyeshadow with a powder eyeshadow that you have that is shimmery or you could use it with a cream eyeshadow like this one and I think this is perfect for that because it is very beautiful coppery metallic eyeshadow even though I am not the hugest fan of the metallic lips trend I thought this would be a good tip to give to you guys so I am just going to grab it with my finger and I am going to pat it over top of my lipstick. Not only is it going to make it more metallic, it is also going to make it a little bit less red and a little bit more uh, coppery. And the last product I am going to talk to you about from the Le Rouge collection from Chanel is the nail gloss that they launched. Now this looks like a very sheer top coat, but in fact I was very surprised when I applied it to my nails because as you can see, it actually looks pretty opaque and it's really beautiful shade. Of course, there are plenty of red nail polishes, you don't need this one, but I thought this was going to be really unique because if you apply it on top of any other nail polish that you got, you are going to give it just a little bit of a um, red tint and if you apply it on top of other red nail polishes, it just get a little bit more bright and a little bit more um, shiny. So I think this is a beautiful product as well. So all in all from the collection, if I had to choose a top three, I would definitely go with the eyeshadow quad because I think it is super beautiful, very very wearable, you could wear this um, quad without using the red shade or you could use it just on the crease and not make it as um, red and intense as I made it. You could use it in a lot of different ways and I think it's really beautiful formula of eyeshadows. Definitely the Illusion d'Ombre in Rouge Brûlé. They also launched a more deep brown shade that is also really beautiful and you could get a lot of use out of that one as well but I think that this is a beautiful shade and an amazing copper and especially if you have green eyes Seriously, you have to get this. And then the third product would be the eye pencil in the shade Agape. Like I said, it is very smooth, it is very long lasting on the lid, it is very pigmented and I love the color. I also really like the color of Eros, but between the two I just think that Agape would be a little bit more wearable on a day to day basis. So that is it guys, this is my take on the Chanel Fall Collection for 2016. Uh, this was my little tutorial for this Le Rouge collection that I think is just Beautiful, I love red, I love red in makeup, I love red lipstick, I love red eyeshadow, and I love red blush, and this collection has all of that. I think that the products are beautiful, the formulations are great, and as always, Chanel did not disappoint me. So that is it for me today, I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. If you have any questions or any video suggestions, please leave them in the comments below. I always forget to say this, but please subscribe, it would help me a lot, and do like this video if you did like it. Follow my Facebook, Instagram and my other social media, I will leave all the links on the description box below and of course come back for more videos. I will see you on my next one. Bye!